Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another unpacking video. What a huge package this is. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Gigantic. However, I fold it over and it limits itself to a minimum of the whole thing. A huge, huge, huge bag. Now, it seems like every uh, collector uh, that I'm following on YouTube has at least once ordered from M&M &M Direct. And now it's my turn. And <laughs> to be honest, uh, it's not, it was just a matter of time. I have been uh, wondering about uh, a, a few jerseys of theirs for, for a while because they sell them for a really good price. But I think... The one that I do regret not getting uh, when it was available was the PSV 1920 away jersey for the simple reason that was the one that uh, they were wearing when last beat them so, so far it would have been a nice memento. Now I'm actually struggling before to, to find a, a natural way to open this bag which seemingly doesn't have. How do they close these things? This is a mystery in itself but hey. Now the good, um, so there, and they had a few or already this year that I was really, really tempted, tempted, and I thought they had even good prices. I think they had a Austria shirt from uh, 18, 19, something like that, which would have been, you know, interesting to see because I was always a little bit tempted by uh, the Puma, um, uh, you know, the uh, a, a Puma match issue shirt. Um, then I think they had some nice African shirts. They still have, uh, they have a Jamaica shirt. And of course, they have many South American club jerseys. But I do not really collect them. Although the Santos shirt that they had in black and white was, um, was also something that I was considering. Um, but you know, as I said, I'm not really collecting South American jerseys. Although I'm surely think that there will at one point come uh jersey from uh peru probably alianza lima will end and uh will be added to my collection as well as cienciano um there will be for sure a boca jersey coming into my collection at one point and there will for sure be a flamengo and a sao paulo jersey those are the teams and maybe even palmeiras i uh, have to think about those are the, uh, the teams that i really really like but for South American jersey, uh, the, the background gift gives away it's a national team team jersey and despite it being uh, in the, uh, the middle of summer, I'm wearing my long sleeve Austria jacket that should give, should, 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 should give it away, it's not very very warm. Now, um, <laughs> I ordered a pair of boxes that I will look at a little bit later, but they are from Hummel. Let's look at the jersey, this is of course a match issue jersey and that one has been enticing me for quite a while it has been hovering around there uh i think it was originally 25 then it went to 20 and then suddenly i see it for 17 and said okay now i'm gonna do it now i'm gonna order it and of course it is the italy jersey where they failed for the first time to <laughs> in long time to uh, qualify for a world but it's also the one that was worrying in the qualification for the ultimately successful euro 2020 this is the match issue shirt and although i do not really like uh wear match issues all that that much a i always like the jersey uh no i should say i always like it i i i how to say i i found it interesting Let, let's pull it that way it's a rather simple jersey but I was mostly intrigued by the technology because I hear that the, the Evo knit jerseys are really, really comfortable to wear. So, and for 17, you cannot really do much wrong there. And um, I know they also had the Switzerland jer uh, jersey, but it hang over there. And this is the, I have the replica version. So didn't necessarily need the uh, match version as well. And then I said, okay, let's go for the Italy one because you know Italy jersey you can never can go wrong and I'm really really interested in it. I mean I can already see here it is it looks kind of tight and that will be very interesting to wear the one thing I think the Italy jersey actually overall looks uh, quite nice and classy it would be, have been nice to be shown at the World Cup um, although I never quite understood why the upper part and I know it's probably that the technology but why it needs to be a little bit um, uh 
lighter than the lower part i like how the crest is done and i never understood this part here to you know why do you need to accentuate it looks a little bit more um you know technically wear like an undershirt but hey so be it on the back as well we have a lot of uh, dots it's interesting. I am really gonna look for wearing this. I mean, what I really like about this, um, I usually like my logos to be cloth or, uh, meanwhile, I'm getting around to the silicone logos, but I can, can, can see that this uh, just put on there um, as a transfer uh, is actually quite nice. Uh, I do like the sleeve cuffs. As I said, I, I always found the color a little bit weird, although here with, and you know for italy i am not sure i mean i actually think a nicely blue shirt would be nice uh, of course i would love here an italian flag that would be the ultimate uh, in a way but we have an italian flag here on the back so yeah another italy shirt added to the collection um it surely won't be the last one <laughs> <laughs> because Italy jerseys are one that I really like. I mean, I can see this underarm thingy here. I mean, this is quite stretchy. I, I, it will be very interesting to put this one on, I uh, have to say, for sure. But, you know, wearing it out in public with my... In, I don't must, I'm not fat in any, in, in any way, but you can definitely tell that I'm uh, sitting a lot in front of a desk and not really working out. But, uh, hey. I'm massively intrigued by this one. Now, I know that uh, some of you already have a similar match uh, jersey as well, but you know, uh, what do you think about uh, the Puma Evo Knit jerseys? Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.